great side dish for any German meal is red cabbage. And here's a really easy recipe. I have a large pot and in it I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter. And now I'm going to get our cabbage ready. Cut off the stem end. Don't want that. Cut it in half. Cabbage. It's not a very big cabbage either. It's a rather small one. And then quarters. And then we have that core that we don't want. So at an angle, I'm going to cut that out. Same thing on this one. Does that and then I'm going to hand shred them. You can do this um, in a food processor if you want, but I found that in a food processor, it makes the shreds almost a little too fine. And I find that it comes out so much better when I just do it this way. And this is not that difficult. So you want approximately five cups of the red cabbage. And there's the rest of the red cabbage. So there's, there's five cups, maybe even six cups. And that was a small red cabbage. So you really don't need a large one, but it's also going to cook down a lot. Now to this, we're going to add, I have a half of a Granny Smith apple, which I peeled and took the core out. And now I'm just going to grate it on just one of these hand graters that I'm sure you have. If you don't, you could just dice it up very finely um, with a knife, or you could do this on your food processor. This is okay that way. Most of this apple is going to cook down. You're not even going to really find it in the recipe, but it's, you're going to taste it. Okay. There's our, there's our apple. Get it all out of there. Put that in our pot. Now, the rest of the ingredients. This is a, everything dump it in the pot and go away. <laughs> Here is a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar, quarter of a cup of regular white sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, uh, three or four tablespoons of water. And Every once in a while while this is cooking, you might want to check it to see if it needs a little bit more water because you want to really get it steamed. I'm going to put only a tablespoon or a teaspoon of salt at this time, and I'll taste it later on towards the end to see if it needs it. Same thing with pepper. We don't need a lot. And mix it up. And that's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this on a medium-low uh, flame on my stove, cover it, and I'm going to cook it from anywhere from an hour and a half to two and a half hours until it's nice and soft and blended. I'll check it for salt and pepper again, re-season it if I have to, and then we'll have great red cabbage as a side dish.